everyone. We are going to go ahead and turn in your reading book to page 101. We will be reading the story for the Lord to hear, chapter 1, to be perfect. I'll give you just a moment. Make sure you turn to page 101. Okay, um, today our story is going to be about a young boy named Corey who plays the piano. Corey's going to be practicing for a solo that he's going to play at church in a few days' time. And we find out later that he's very nervous. He's got some jitters. He's a little bit nervous to play in front of everyone at church, but his mom is going to help him get over his stage fright. Remember, whenever I ask you to pause, please pause the video and echo read back to me, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Let's sit up nice and straight and tall. Here we go. For the Lord to hear, to be perfect. Corey opened his piano book and sighed. Only three more days until he would play his song in church. Pause. He stared at the page and then down at the keyboard. Carefully, he placed his fingers on the keys and played the first six notes. Holy, holy, holy. He thought of the words as he played. Then he stopped and looked out the window. Pause. Mom came in and stood by the piano. Don't stop. It sounds nice, she said with a smile. Sunday's the big day, isn't it? Corey nodded without looking up. Pause. Mom kept watching him. What's the matter, Corey? She asked. I don't think I want to play, Mom, he said. Can you call Mrs. Howard and tell her I can't do it? Pause. But your song sounds really good, said Mom. You've worked hard on it. Why don't you want to play? Corey gazed down at his hands in his lap. Last night, I dreamed I was playing in church, he said. I made a lot of mistakes. People were laughing at me. Pause here. But Corey, that was just a bad dream, said Mom. You don't need to let that scare you. But what if it really happens? I don't want to make any mistakes. I want my song to be perfect. Pause. Mom sat down beside him on the piano bench. She was silent for a moment. Corey stared at the black and white notes on the page until they looked blurry. He blinked and quickly wiped his hand across his eye. Suddenly, Mom stood up. I'll be right back, she said. I'm going to get something. You can pause here and finish Echo reading and then meet me back here tomorrow where we will finish the rest of the story. See you later.